Hello, my name is Pedro Pitar. And my name is Dana Barale. And we are uh, two architects based in Madrid. And we are office for holistic miscellanea, uh, which is a practice that operates in the intersections between architecture, media, and cultural studies. We are going to present a project called uh, Le Cabanon, an update of Le Corbusier's Refuge. Our proposal for the Seoul Biennale of Architecture and Urbanism is a reinterpretation of Le Cabanon uh, from Le Corbusier in terms of concept and materiality in our contemporary context. Back in 1952, Le Corbusier built a project that would be considered a simplification of his architectural thinking a humble, a small wooden cabin elevated on top of a concrete platform uh, with tiny windows. The cabanon, uh, the vacances, is a domestic cell that summarizes Le Corbusier, uh, Le Carbus Le Corbusier idea of uh, the machine of living through an exercise of modulating a microspace. Designed using uh, the modular as a base, um, the, the entire project, as well as its furniture and finishing, is carefully uh, dimensioned and sized through Le Corbusier's anthropometric scale of proportions. Le Corbusier spent most of his summers at his wooden cabin of uh, 366 by 366 meters. The fact is that things have drastically changed since Le Corbusier designed his cabanon. And our proposal tries to materialize that shift between the modern and the contemporary context. It was uh, a modern refuge, a minimum living unit whose architectural purpose was actually the exile of the user. But however, within our society, the living space has evolved into a much more complex concept that materializes and relates to a virtual sphere. It was a project designed from its interior, from the very basic elements that it contains, that were actually a bedroom, a desk, a toilet, and a sink. And those elements, those pieces of architecture are kept in our proposal as the core oil elements around which it is articulated. Le Cabanon stands as a ready-made. Le Corbusier piece is revealed in Seoul Biennale of Architecture, reinterpreting its original scheme, but with updated devices and new materials. Its interiors explores each of the different original scenarios through a reinterpretation following situations of the 21st century examining the way that we inhabit this dual reality. We are focusing on those shifts between the modern and the contemporary context and materializes with these new devices and new materials. Uh, right now, we are going to explain six uh, couple of juxtaposed situations, the six scenarios or scenes around which we have articulated our proposal, which are the juxtaposition between two terms, one modern and one contemporary. The first of them is refuge versus exhibition. The second, toilet versus embellishment. Third, rest versus act and interact. Fourth, storage versus archive. Fifth, seclusion and diffusion. And sixth and final one, support versus broadcast. So starting from the beginning, uh, the original Cabanon skin was opaque. Its walls were cladded with wooden boards. Uh, uh, that means that the refuge is no longer achieved from the opacity of materials. There is no refuge within the context of the total self-exposure that occurs in the nowadays practices uh, in social media, for instance. There is an impulse uh, to exhibit our daily life in the media sphere. At Le Corbusier's uh, wooden refuge, the bathroom was intended as a functional element. And now it has become a scenario for the construction of identity and bodies redesign. Architecture is regulated by devices 
from where we access the world. Devices such as the bed, which is no longer a place uh, where we rest, like a passive object, uh, but a place where we act and interact. The bed is performative. It is an agent for action. The bed is a physical virtual link. Distancing from Le Corbusier's Cabanon wardrobe, the new archive is no longer the accumulation of goods, but of, but of information. The wardrobe and the data rack are equally important in terms of storage of one's own properties and digital lives. In the 21st century, the house does not separate and seclude realities, but actually acts as a mediator of diffusion, as a link or connection between different conditions. In the original scheme, the connection with the adjacent bar was mediated by a model that was painted by Le Corbusier his own, which in our proposal, it is transformed into a neon light of the modular that actually modulates and gives the measures for the whole proposal. And moreover, our current desk is not a support, but the scenario of one's online identity from where we broadcast ourselves. The reality is at this desk, post-produced, script, and becomes a product of consumption. Using each furniture element, each space of the cabin, or even its architectural skin, we are proposing an exercise of review and juxtaposition between the original social context of Le Corbusier and our current contemporary one. The new installation explores the social implications of the digital age. Using Le Corbusier work, Le Cabanon stands as a statement of our current context. It is in place within the measures of the modular and a stage over his precisely measured furniture and hosted within the walls of his vacation cabin. The new house is no longer a refuge, but a media sphere. We would like now to share um, with you some videos of the installation process where you can see some of the materials, like the one of the facade, which instead of being wood, is replaced with transparent acrylic. Also the steel frame and the structure that follows the original measures and the neon uh, modular light. Whereas the exterior natural environment of Le Corbusier was completely natural, in here we are transforming it into an artificial black glass carpet. Also, while the original cabinet of Le Corbusier, the floor was wooden, we are using a mirrored surface that multiplicates the exposure and the, of the interior of our cabanon to the maximum. The furniture elements are redesigned using black pyramid acoustic foam, and also the shift of materiality is achieved at the desk where the wooden surface of the original piece is transformed into an acrylic transparent one. And um, also to finish with, we would like to thank uh, our project, uh, sorry. We would like to thank our project manager, Jenna Ku, and the photographer, Yuwon Kim, and the sponsor, Sika. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope you enjoy the Seoul Biennale and hope to see you all.